Hi, I'm Max Ramey. I play viola in the Chicago Symphony, and the viola is a string instrument. I'm wondering, have any of you ever taken a rubber band and stretched it out and then plucked it? And you get this sound, it kind of sounds like this, you know, boink. Well, if you ever did that, congratulations, you invented your very own string instrument. For thousands of years all over the world, people have been creating all kinds of string instruments, but they all have the same basic idea. You stretch out a chord, like that rubber band we were talking about, or like the strings on my viola, and you set it in motion, like this. The string vibrates, it moves back and forth very fast, and the air around it vibrates, and these vibrations reach our ear, and we understand it as sound. But you know, at some point, people must have thought, you know, it's great to make these plucking sounds, but the string vibrates for a minute, and then it stops. Would there be some way to keep the string vibrating so we can have long sounds that connect with each other, which is more like how we speak, or even better, like how we sing. Well, more than a thousand years ago, in the Arab world, they came up with this amazing invention, something along the lines of what I'm holding here, and it's called a bow. And I can draw this bow across the string, and the string keeps vibrating, and that is when string instruments really started to sing. My name is Rong Yan. I play the violin in the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. Violin is the smallest instrument in the string family and it has the highest pitch. Today I like to play a solo piece written by Spanish composer Sarasate called the Zigana Weizen. It means the gypsy way. <laughs> Melanie and I play the violin in the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. In our string quartet there are two violins. Ron Yen and I both play the same instrument. Everyone takes turns being the leader and everyone's voice is important. It's one of my favorite forms of teamwork. A lot of the time the two violins music is written to sound like a musical conversation. Here is an example of what team violin sounds like. Max here again. You heard about my friends who play the violin, and my viola, I know, looks a lot like a violin. We play it the same way. But if you saw them next to each other, you would see that the viola is larger than the violin. We kind of think of the viola as like the violin's older brother. And just like if you have an older brother, he probably has a deeper voice than you do. So because the viola is bigger than the violin, it has a deeper voice than the violin. In a minute, you'll see my friend Lauren talk to you about a cello, which is much bigger still and has an even deeper voice and a lower sound. So the viola is kind of right between lower than the violin and higher than the cello, which means we can be a very good friend to all the other string instruments. We can reach up and play up high where the violins like to hang out. Or we can reach down 
and play low where the cello likes to hang out. You know, in a way, that's kind of the viola's job, is to be a good friend to all the other instruments. We can step out and strut our stuff, but we're perfectly happy to let other people be the star. Um, we like to collaborate with other instruments and harmonize with them and make them better. If you could imagine the best friend you could possibly have, everything you'd want in a friend, that's kind of what a viola does in music. Hi, my name is Lauren, and I play cello in the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. It's big, and it's also beautiful. Look at all this gorgeous wood on the back. I love it. The cello plays the bass notes in a string quartet. It's got low, beautiful sound, but the thing I like about the cello is it also is capable of playing very high. It has a wonderful range, so I'd like to play a little solo for you that demonstrates the tone and the range of the cello. <laughs> 